What's going on guys, Sledgehammer70 here, and today I'm going to empty my spotless watering system, or that creates my deionized water for when I wash my car. So here we go. So the process here isn't all that hard. You got a special tool that allows you to loosen up the plastic tubes. Basically you slide that on here, and you loosen it. So that's tighten, that's loosen. I've already broken the seal a little bit and there's going to be a little water coming out of here because there is water still inside the system. So if you're worried about getting water anywhere, be careful. So what I do is you can stick your finger down in there, pull your uh, fitting rings off. And now, so the water is actually going to want to uh, empty out the bottom. So I'm going to take this outside because I forgot about that functionality. And now it's probably going to overflow. Yep. I'm smart. Cowboy. So you see, you got the filter, or not the filter, but the container that holds the filter. And then you're gonna flip this bad boy over. There will be water in there. You're gonna unscrew it, and literally. Just dump out. the resin. This is really hard to do one-handed. There we go. That's what I'll typically do. Rinse it out. There we go. I got a clean tube. And I am told it is perfectly fine, or at least I was told it's fine, that if there's still just a little bit of resin in there, it's not going to hurt anything, according to the company. So if you're not familiar with how this filter works, you have the blue container that holds this, and this filter sits inside. Again, there's a positioner that holds it so it doesn't move around. The water actually comes into the outside of this bay and it gets forced up through this filter. And then from the filter, it bubbles up through the resin and then it comes out the top into the cross pattern. And what happens is it actually gets double filtered. So this is the first one and then it flows over into the second filter and then it comes out to your hose. So it's getting double filtered um, to get all that nastiness out of your water. So the nice thing is, is the new resin is dry so it goes in a lot easier than the old stuff comes out. And what I'll do is usually just take a pair of scissors, cut the corner. Stick it in there so it doesn't fall over. Pour in the new resin. Well, put the lid back on. There you go. One down, one more to go. All 
I always do like to put my rings on when I'm done so that way I don't forget about them because it's easy to forget. The other thing I forgot to mention was on this filter you want to make sure to rinse this out. So there was a lot of resin built up on it on mine and you can actually see little uh, black specks on the bottom that's usually junk that comes from your normal water. Uh, but make sure to rinse this out as well because this is the filter going into your setup. This is the fun part, because these are a little heavy. I mean, they're not super heavy, but. So, but you manly tighten. Get your tool back on there. Oops, wrong way. Tighten her up. And there you go. You're good for a car wash. So, there you have it. That was my uh, very rough changing out the resin in my deionized water system. So that system usually lasts me. Now, it depends on how you wash your car. Now, sometimes I'll go through and I'll wash and rinse my car with the deionized system. And other times I'll use regular hose water to wash and then I'll use the deionized to rinse uh, before I'm ready to dry. And uh, if you do it that way, wash with normal water and then rinse with the deionized water, this will last you a good three months or I don't know, 12, 15, 20 car washes, as long as you're not using a ton of water through it. But if you're using it from start to finish to wash your car, you'll probably get five to six car washes out of it, just because I know I use a little bit more water, but we're rinsing and all that stuff. It just, it will burn through it. So yeah, thanks for checking out the video. If you guys use a deionized system or are interested in it, let me know in the comments below. Ask any questions you may have. They're pretty simple. They're not super cheap to get, but honestly, I could wash my car with this system and not dry it. It is awesome. So uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you on the road.